Okay, we're going to be going through the song January by Souls of We, um, George Lynch's band. I'm going to play through the track first, um, the intro, the first verse and the chorus, and I'll break it down for you. first. Uh, there are three parts of the intro. Um, basically the lead guitar part that comes in first, then the higher octave lead guitar part, and then the rhythm in the background. I'm going to go through each one separately. I'm going to zoom into my fretboard so you can see what I'm doing. At the beginning of the song George Lynch plays the lead guitar part which goes something like this. <laughs> down for you now. I'm going to start by playing the D string, 5th fret, and I'm going to go to the 7th fret of the D string, and then the 7th fret of the G string. I'm going to play in groups of 3 or triplets. I'm going to play 5 triplets in total. So it will go like this. <laughs> After that, I'm going to slide my first finger from the 5th fret down to the 3rd fret of the D string. I'm going to be playing the 3rd fret of the D string and the 5th fret of the G string. And for the final group of 3, I'm going to be playing the 5th fret of the D string and the 5th fret of the G string. So we'll go like this. <laughs> sounds something like this. Now the second time I go back to the third fret, I end it slightly differently. Um, the last group of three goes like this, which is the third fret of the A string, 4th fret of the D string and the 5th fret of the G string. So if I play that group of triplets, this is how it will end. My picking is really important on this as well, so I'm going to zoom into my pick hand now. now the picking on this is quite important as well. I'm using alternate picking, but because we're using groups of three, the first stroke um, changes between a downstroke and an upstroke. So I'm going to go through it slowly so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so if I start with the first group of triplets, 
I'm going to be playing this. <laughs> If you watch my pick hand, I'm going to start off with a downstroke first, then an upstroke, then a downstroke on the D G string. Now the second time I start that group of three, I actually have to start on an upstroke, then a downstroke, then an upstroke, and then a downstroke again. It's a really good alternate picking exercise because it's a little bit confusing when you're playing triplets um, especially when they're on different strings so um, it's start off with this quite slowly and build your speed up progressively <laughs> doing with my pick hand is I'm muting the strings. They're not open. I'm not actually playing. I've actually got my, my pick hand rested about a centimeter away from where the strings meet the bridge. So just around here. So I put my palm there so I get the muted sound of the strings. When I go to the second group of triplets, I'm actually playing two downstrokes and then an upstroke. So two downstrokes on the D string and an upstroke on the G string. So if I do that slowly, this is how it will look. So I concentrate on my pick hand. I just find it easier to do it that way. You can use alternate picking um, or you can do it the way I'm doing it. When you quicken it up, it looks a little bit like this. When I end that on the second time, when I play the third fret of the A, the fourth fret of the D, and the fifth fret of the G, I go back to alternate picking. Okay, I'm going to go through the second part now. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer to my fret part. After the first couple of bars, there's a higher guitar part that comes in as well. Um, we're going to be shifting everything to the 15th fret of the B string and 17th fret of the high E string. Then I'm going to be going to the 18th fret of the high E string, then sliding my finger back to the 13th fret of the B string and playing on the 15th fret of the high E string. So let me play that through for you, then I'll break it down. Starting off on the 15th fret of the B string, and then I'm going to be playing on the 17th fret of the high E string. I tend to use my second finger to fret the B string so that I can lay my first finger across the other strings. Um, so just in case I hit those strings with the pick or there's some noise, it gets rid of any noise. And with my little finger, I'm going to the 17th fret of the high E string. And when I want to play the note, I'm putting my finger down, and then when I want to um, release the note, I'm taking my finger off. Because I'm playing the string open, I don't want to hear it all the time. Also, I'm palm muting the B string so that I don't get the open note, I'm getting a, a partial mute there. So the first set of triplets is going to be like this. You'll notice that the picking is the same as the second set of triplets that we did, i.e. what I'm doing is two downstrokes and one upstroke. So it's down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Just helps my timing a little bit when I do it that way rather than doing with alternate picking. I then switch to the 18th fret of the high E string and the 15th fret of the B string stays as it is. The 
last time I do it, and actually slide back from the 18 to the 17 on the high E string. Then I slide my second finger back to the 13th fret of the B string. I'm going to be playing the 15th fret of the high E. I'm ending on the 15th fret of the high E, I put some vibrato on and then slide the note down. And that gets me ready for the next part.